Uh, Jerry, the Champions League final. Now, a few weeks out, I tipped Barcelona to get to the Champions League final and to win it. They fell away, and Atletico Madrid with the team that put them away. And Atletico Madrid, they've been fantastic, haven't they? Atletico Madrid, as I said at the start of the season, Adrian, are one of those teams that never say die. They've got a great attitude, great determination, a manager who believes in them, and they believe in the manager, and he, they just work their socks off. So you know what you're going to get with them. They give you 100%. And uh, I've watched them a lot this season. Been great watching them, great entertainment. And uh, they're going to push Real Madrid all the way, as they have in the league. But I have a funny feeling it's going to be Real Madrid's day, simply because of the front three. I just look at the front three. I look at, you know, Ronaldo. He's on 50 goals already this season. He's the top goal scorer in the Champions League, which we, we sort of tipped him to be that. He's broke Messi's record. He's on 16, 16 Champions League goals in, in one uh, season and uh, he'll score more in the final I think he's the man he and Bale Bale's athleticism and his prowess he's got 20 goals this season Gareth Bale and he's created another 16-17 for other people and Di Maria is playing great and Benzema has had his best season for three years so there's three potent goal scorers and uh, you're, you're talking well over 100 goals from those three so I, I think I think it's the firepower of Real Madrid will prove too much for Atletico, but boy, they'll push them all the way. Atletico, uh, could it be a case, and as you say, that they come up against this force Real Madrid and they just lose out because uh, they're, they're, they're a great team with maybe not too many individuals. Now, there's some fantastic players, <clears throat> but they could get caught out in this one-off against Real. Yeah, they could. Uh, the other thing is, it's because I fancy them to win the league. I think Atletico Madrid's going to win the league. And they've got two massive games to play. And, uh, you know, if they win... If they win both those games, there's nothing Real Madrid or Barcelona can do. Now, there's still a scenario whereby the last game of the season between Barcelona and Athletic Madrid, any one of the three of them can still win it, which would be a fantastic finale. But I just have a feeling that the pressure they're going to be under to win the last two games and to win the league, and they'll have a wee bit of a celebration, you see. They'll have a celebration for a day or two after that, and then the Champions League's five, four, five, six days after the the last game of the season on the 18th. So I think they'll have relaxed a wee bit and I think Real Madrid will be sore that they've lost the league title to them and they'll be bouncing back to win the Champions League. Just a wee bit of psychology there, but I think that's how it's going to work out. I also would like to say to you too, if it goes to the last day of La Liga and if it goes this way, that Atletico Madrid, if, they, if, they, uh, if there's a chance that Real Madrid can win the league as opposed to them or Barcelona, you know, these teams are going to collapse because... They all hate each other. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> There's a lot of animosity and hatred between them. But the thing is, I think it'll be good for Spanish football if Atletico Madrid win the league because they've not spent much money. They've got a goalkeeper on loan from Chelsea, Courtois, who's the best young goalkeeper in the world for me. And uh, watch out for him in the World Cup. Uh, but, you know, you're, you're looking at uh, Diego Costa, who nobody really knew too much about last year. He was playing second fiddle to Falcao. Now he's the main man and he's thrown us his hat in the ring with Spain, so you'll be watching him play for Spain in the World Cup. So they've got great individual players as well, you know, um, Arda Turan, the Turkish international, what a player he is, Koke, Spanish international, you know, all in all they've got some really good players and I think it's not costing an awful lot of money, it would be good for Spanish football if Atletico Madrid win it against the big boys, you know, against the, the money spenders of Bar Barcelona and Real Madrid, you know, so I think the league can benefit from it, so that's, I'm hoping that's going to be the scenario. Now you talk about Spanish football benefiting, of course you go to the uh, to the Europa League final. Benfica, who seem to be in the Europa League finals all the time <laughs> against uh, Sevilla, and Benfica would be maybe what what slight favourites there, maybe would they? Um, know the manager uh, Jorge Jesus very well. He's done a great job at Benfica, um, beaten finalists last year. Chelsea beat them one 0 um, I think they are the favourites, but it's going to be a tight one. Sevilla. You know, Sevilla almost threw the semi-final away after winning 2-0. You know, the first leg, you thought they were nearly there. They were 3-0 down, you know, with a couple of minutes to go. And, and Bia scored a, a goal that took Sevilla through. But um, good side. It's going to be a great final. Very attractive attacking side, Sevilla. But I just have a sneaky feeling that Benfica is going to be a wee bit too clever for them. And I, I fancy that Jorge Jesus is going to be celebrating uh, a victory this year rather than a defeat last year.